My brother rings me and he says, Sebastian, I think we've got a problem. Uh, you know, mum's got 40,000 YouTube followers. And uh, you know, at that point my face just dropped. I knew immediately what was going on. Sebastian is 21, into politics, traveling, and his mum, Kate Shemirani, has become notorious for spreading conspiracy theories during the pandemic. What she's doing is dangerous. You nurses dancing, I'm coming for you. This is her five minutes of fame. You will stand trial for genocide. I don't want to be here talking about, you know, but it's something I think we've got to do before these ideas get bigger and more people fall down the same route that she's trying to take them down. You can only prevent it before it happens. His mum has become a headliner at anti-lockdown rallies and promoted baseless conspiracy theories about 5G, vaccines and the pandemic. That's going to go into your DNA, it's going to change you forever, which means that you are no longer of the creator, they can put a patent on you and you cannot be genocided. Thousands of people are taking her to be this source of truth and this saint. And I wish I could tell them all, my mum is not the person that you think she is. She's someone with a massive amount of self-interest and loves being the centre of attention. Sebastian's concerns are about public health. There is no evidence to back up claims his mum makes about 5G and coronavirus, which have been linked to real-world damage, and she encourages followers to ignore health guidance. He was also shocked to see far-right people in her crowds. My dad's Iranian. All of her kids are mixed race. And she's out there getting all this clout and attention from people who don't think, you know, I should exist and definitely wouldn't like to listen to her if they did any digging whatsoever. What was it like growing up in your household when, when you were younger? The short answer is it was hell. It's difficult to explain because we didn't live in particularly economically difficult circumstances. You know, we had a, a nice big house in a, you know, good town. As a child, he says he was frequently exposed to conspiracy theories. Start playing these YouTube videos for me about like how the Rothschilds are plotting to like go live on a space station, and how there's going to be this mass genocide and stuff like that. I'm 10, 11 years old and I'm, I'm bricking it, you know, I, I'm, I can't believe that the genocide is coming. Sebastian left home at 17. She came to see me as part of the global plot. They're now only in touch via text. She sent me a text a couple of weeks ago saying, you know, you need to listen to me. If you don't, you and your sister are going to die. The CIA has a plot. Um, you know, half the UK's population is going to be killed within five years. So I asked her who benefits from this. No response. The rant continues. Do you think there would ever be a way of you having a relationship with her again? I think she's too far gone to be helped. I'm never going to have a relationship with my mum again. And that's why it's important that if, you know, someone else is coming to you and saying, I'm starting to believe this stuff, nip it in the bud because it takes a couple of years to completely lose somebody. And when this is over in three or four years' time, and everything she said is forgotten, and the global genocide hasn't happened, people will forget about it. But you know, the disaster that goes on with, with my, within my family, and the relationships that she's losing now, that stuff stays forever. The BBC put Sebastian's claims to Kate Shemirani. She did not directly respond to what her son said. She did tell us, from what I can see, it would appear a conspiracy theorist is actually now anyone who believes something other than what your controllers want them to believe. I find this deeply disturbing.